Nice job by Shu. Well All right. So, trial. Put your iPads down. Everyone go screens down. No, I don't want you looking at your iPads. I want you looking at this thing. I want all of you involved here. Trial. What is a trial? What is a trial? Avatar. Yeah. Or the testing has to yeah, a lot of times. So if I do 17 trials, how many times did I test it? 17. Nice. Theoretical probability. The key word in theoretical probability is? Should. What should happen? The key word in experimental probability is? Does. What does happen? Are we cool with that? Yes. Yeah. These formulas need to be in your head as of like now. There is a difference between theoretical and experimental probability like you just said. Eyes are up here. Theoretical probability is this. In the count of three, I would like you all to read that together. One, two, three. Number of favorable outcomes over number of total possible outcomes. Favorable means what we are looking for. for. What we're looking for, right? So if I'm looking for the number of favorable outcomes in rolling a number cube, and I'm looking for the number six, is that my favorable outcome? Yes. yes. Experimental probability on the count of three. One, two, three. Number of times that it occurs over number of Do you get to decide how many trials you do? Yes. So if you do something twice, is that the amount of trials? Yes. So if I flip a coin twice, it would be two trials, right? Yes. If I flip a coin 50 times, it would be? 50 trials. Wonderful. What does this mean? What does that mean? What does this symbol mean, everybody? What does symbol mean? Remember, less than kind of makes an L, right? Yeah. Yes, L? Yes. Um, what does this mean? So we're asking for the probability of getting something less than two on this spinner. How many things can be less than two? One. What is that thing? One. So the probability is one out of four? Yes. Can you convert that to a decimal one percent? Yes. If I'm asking for the probability of something that is going to be greater than or equal to one, should I count one? Yes. Greater than or equal to one, does it count one? Yes. If it's greater than one and equal to one, it should be one, two, three, and four on this spinner right here, right? Yes, yes no? Yes. Okay. And then we did this. What kind of probability was this here when we actually rolled the number cube 12 times? And this was Heidi and Sharon's data, right? Yes. And what would you expect to happen if you're rolling a six-sided number cube? How many times would you expect to get a six if you rolled it 12 times? Two, two. two out of? Twelve. Did Heidi and Sharon get two sixes? Yes. Does their theoretical probability match up? So this is their theoretical. Does it match up with their experimental? Yes. yes. Did other people get something different than six? Yes. yes. How many times would you expect to get a four if you rolled a number cube 12 times? Two. two. Did they get any fours? No. So would you say that their theoretical probability of two twelfths for the number four is greater than their experimental? Yes. Is their experimental like a surprise to you? Yes. Should they have at least two? Yes. Or actually, I guess they should have two. Do you got? Do you got the concept between the two? Do you got the idea between the two? Yes. Take out a piece of paper.